This is the craziest fan test I've done. Today we'll be reviewing and testing the Noctua NH-L9A AM5, a low profile cooler with a maximum height of 37 millimeters, including the fan. The model I have is the all black Chromax edition, which looks pretty sick. There are two main versions of this Chromax edition, the L9A and the L9I, one being for AMD and the other for Intel. Unboxing the Noctua L9A is pretty straightforward. You can get the cooler itself, the mounting equipment, the low noise adapter, thermal paste, and a small installation guide. You also get this very small Noctua metal plate. The 92 millimeter static pressure fan and AM5 bracket come pre-installed. The cold plate and heat pipes are nickel plated copper and the heat fans are all aluminum. Noctua states the max TDP for this cooler is 65 watts. That's nearly three times lower than the CPU we're using today the Ryzen 9 7900X. The Ryzen 7900X is a beast of a CPU with 12 cores and 24 threads, boosting up to 5.6 gigahertz. We won't be getting those type of frequencies, but we will be pushing the CPU to see what performance we can get out of it. It's also important to remember that using a small cooler like this will not yield you good results without substantial compromise. I'll be testing this cooler in both 65 and 105 watt eco modes with a negative 18 curve optimization and a PBO thermal limit of 85 degrees Celsius. I recently reviewed and tested the Thermorite AXP90 X47, which yielded mostly positive results. The X47 and the L9A aren't really comparable due to their vastly different TDP rating, 65 for the L9A and 135 watts for the X47. Plus there's a 10 millimeter difference in overall cooler height. On the fan spec sheet, we see the Noctua NF-A914 has a maximum rotational speed of 2500 RPM and 1800 with a low noise adapter. This fan, for good reason, does not have a zero RPM mode. It can only get as low as 600 RPMs. Someone in the comments mentioned they'd love to see the benchmarks with graphs instead of numbers. And so I'll give that a try. The Noctua NH-L9A is quite impressive if you're willing to compromise some performance. Obviously, you shouldn't pair a hot CPU like this 7900X with a 65 watt cooler, but if you're like me who already owned the CPU and want to reuse it for a smaller case, then this is a good option. You could also pair the L9A with a 7900X which has a stock TDP of 65 watts and is officially compatible. 
If you're using a 7800X3D or lower, then this cooler is a no-brainer. It's solid, it feels substantially more premium in the hands compared to the AXP90. You're paying a premium for the build quality and performance and the Noctua name. I used the L9A to edit and export this video along with Transcode H.265 4K 10-bit 422 footage to 4K ProRes 10-bit 422, all while a 50% fan speed on the 105 watt eco mode. I strongly suggest you stay at 50% fan speed as going down any lower for extended periods of time may cause your system to overheat or shut down like mine did. This concludes my video. I am working on a video about the AXP90 X47 full copper. That video will be focused on providing bench rock results as I've already did an unboxing and review of the black model. If you like what you've seen here, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you again soon.